I want to challenge something that may or may not live within you. I want to challenge the doubt and the fear and the part of you that thinks that you can't. I want to challenge that voice and I want you to ask yourself if it's your own. And if it's not your voice, who is it? Is it a parent? Is it a friend? Is it something or someone from your past? And I want you to just see the difference. Create a little space. And see that maybe you can create something different. You see, no one teaches us that when we're young, our bodies are in a state of receptivity. Our brain is in theta, which means that everything we see in our outer world, we take in as truth. There's no discernment. There's no judgment. It automatically is stored as truth. And I don't think our parents and their parents and the parents before really knew this. And maybe you're part of the small amount of conscious beings that does know this. And maybe you were born into this most amazing environment where you were given the most amazing circumstances. But I think even in the most amazing circumstances, what can look like not such a big deal can feel like trauma in the body. Because any time we didn't have our needs met, we felt abandoned, we felt scared, we didn't feel safe, our body and brain connected to whatever that was and made an imprint and carried that belief into our lives. And so what happens, what that looks like in our everyday life is that sometimes we feel limited. Sometimes we don't feel like we can accomplish or even be in every now moment as ourselves. Maybe this looks like, maybe this feels like something just not being right. Something feeling a little off. Or maybe it's as big as working at a job you really don't like. Maybe it means forgetting what it feels like for your heart to really be open, to live wholeheartedly, to feel inspired. I don't know how it looks, what shape, how big or small it is in your life, but what I've come to find is we all have a little bit of this. We all have a little bit of this outward projection, of this truth outside of us, really dictating our inner world and how much we show the outer world, our whole inner being. So I wanna challenge that doubt. I wanna challenge that voice if it's telling you not to do something. I want you to just think, is it your voice? Maybe you don't even know whose voice it is. Maybe you just know that it's not your truth. And I want you to set it free. Just give it some space and set it free and tell it, tell yourself and your body it's okay to let that go. It's okay to let that go. what I've found is we step into bit by bit, piece by piece, more and more of ourselves. More and more fulfillment, more and more happiness and enjoyment, stillness. Maybe it's just more peace. So as you start your day, or you end your day, wherever you're at, 
carry this with you. Take it into your sleep and your dreams and dare to dream. Dare to dream the most amazing, unthinkable, who knows what you're gonna dream dreams. And if you're starting your day or maybe you're at a point in your day where you can start it again and just see what is it? What is it that I wanna invite into my life? Is there something within my being that I've taken on as truth, a belief that I can let go of? And I promise you, if you take this awareness with you in this practice, it is life-changing. It is remarkable. It is truly you regaining more and more of your truth. Because what I've found is we look outside of ourselves for this truth. We look for it in habits, addictions. We look for it in things, acquiring things, or even keeping ourselves busy, over-obligating. But really what, what we're wanting in all of those things is peace and happiness and joy. And sometimes it's right where you are right now and making a choice to see, is it within me? And if it's not, why? I've been doing this work for about 12 years. 13 years and it doesn't stop it only gets better the more conscious I become in my everyday existence the greater and greater life becomes and it's never about getting things getting the good feelings or getting the peace it's really about landing just landing right here and seeing the fullness in every moment, really experiencing the flower in front of you, the sky up above, really feeling that connection with your loved one smiling at you. That's all there is, really, is this one moment. So in your next now moments, I hope you find this discovery within you. You find this place of seeing if there's parts of you that are not really you. If there's something you can let go. If now you've understood that we're hardwired to have these brains that take in this truth and we live our lives 95% of our day in the subconscious mind. So 5% you're consciously choosing. But that number is not a definite number. And all you need to do is bring more awareness to find more of you.